Hello students and welcome you once again on this platform of enriching your learning experiences. Today I will be talking about personalized instructional techniques. First I will give a very brief introduction about the topic. Instruction is an essential part of teaching learning process which refers to the whole process applied for making learning to occur and developing the target behavior that learners are expected to have. It refers to the activities planned for teaching. It is defined as a purposeful, orderly controlled sequencing of experiences to reach a specified goal. Effective teaching is dependent upon selection of appropriate instructional techniques. Danielson suggested four skill areas for effective teaching which are quality planning and preparation, professional behavior, positive classroom, environment and use of instructional techniques. These techniques are selected according to the target learners, content and instructional objectives. Every instruction requires different kinds of technique for attaining objectives. Mass instructional technique considers everyone as having same features and are providing instruction in the same manner where individual differences are not taken into consideration. Unlike this, personalized instructional techniques are focused on learners as individual entity with different needs, potentials and learning styles. Now we will see what is the meaning of personalized instruction. Personalized instruction can be called as an educational approach where learning is personalized for each learner as per their needs, potentials, strengths and weaknesses. It is described as person oriented instruction. A classroom which offers personalized instruction denies the one size fits all belief. According to Glenn Heathers, individualized instruction consists of any steps taken in planning and conducting programs of studies and lessons that suit them to the individual student's learning needs, learning readiness and learner characteristics or learning style. Here learning tasks, materials, settings, methods and scheduling or time is planned appropriately according to the learner's needs and pace. It reflects deep concern for learners and the willingness to search for ways to adjust the teaching learning environment to meet the learning needs of individual students. In the words of Keefe and Jenkins, personalization of instruction and learning is the effort on the part of a school to organize the learning environment to take into account individual student characteristics and needs and to make use of flexible instructional practices. Importance of personalized instruction is shown in the following figure. Personalized instruction helps students in developing personal learning plans, assists in diagnosing students' weaknesses and strengths makes the learning environment and instruction as per the learner's needs and interests and mentors authentic and reflective learning experiences. Now we will discuss the basic elements of personalized instruction. Keefe and Jenkins proposed six basic elements of personalized instruction which are given here. The first is dual teacher role. Here, teachers play the catalytical role. Personalized instruction demands teachers to assume dual roles. One is of coach, another one is of advisor. Second is diagnosis of students' learning characteristics. It focuses on the creation of environment suitable to the learner's aptitude, needs and interests. 
it demands teachers to know their students it requires diagnosis to determine the learning related characteristics of individual learners the third point is culture of collegiality it demands teachers and students to work together in a cooperative social environment to develop meaningful learning activities for all students it promotes interaction dialogue and thoughtful reflection next is interactive learning environments this environment helps in fostering collaborative learning and reflective conversation it should incorporate thoughtful environment active learning experiences and authentic students achievement next point is flexible scheduling and pacing there should be flexible scheduling and self pacing as per learners speed last point is authentic assessment assessment should be authentic which focuses on real performance and mastery of a field of knowledge let's see what are the personalized instructional techniques individualized instruction has grown out of the ideas of b f skinner his concepts and methods were observed as revolutionary when compared to its traditional counterparts it promoted the idea of instruction which is personalized according to the learners to be taught it is aptly said that its techniques have been designed to tailor instruction to fit the special requirements and capabilities of each learner as an individual individualization of instruction can occur in the fullest sense only if the school program provides for learning experiences such that the content of those experiences can be substantially different for each learner the pacing or time allocation for a given experience can be substantially different for each learner and the depth and breadth of the experience can be varied for each learner there are many forms and techniques of personalized instruction such as teaching machine programmed instruction personalized system of instruction computer assisted instruction learner controlled instruction individually prescribed instruction etc some important techniques are elaborated here in this module first is programmed instruction we can refer to it as pi this auto instructional and self learning technique has emerged out of the researches of skinner on operant conditioning thorn dykes law of effect has relevance to programming teaching machine was devised by sydney l pressy of ohio state university and pi is the logical offspring of the teaching machine which utilizes the same learning principles in pi learning experiences and materials are arranged and presented in small units following logical and psychological sequence in order to make students get maximum benefits here subject matter is analyzed thoroughly and divided into meaningful segments of information it involves controlled carefully specified and skillfully arranged learning experiences they are self instructional and self corrective according to smith and more programmed instruction is the process of arranging the material to be learned into a series of sequential steps usually it moves the students from a familiar background into a complex and new set of concepts principles and understanding in terms of classroom teaching pi is essentially an attempt to provide instruction that is more individualized more tailored to each learner's unique learning abilities and needs and largely self instructional there are two programming in pi one is linear and another one is branching the former is extrinsic programming developed by skinner where subject matter is broken into small chunks and are presented in logical sequence which are called as frames 
Students proceed from one step to another and receive immediate feedback for their responses. The latter is developed by Norman A. Crowder. Here, students don't follow the linear steps but are directed to move to different branches according to their responses to multiple choice questions. Here, errors are diagnosed and remedial instruction is provided. It is also called as intrinsic program. PI follows the principles of small steps, active responding, immediate reinforcement, self-pacing and student testing. In the development of PI materials, three stages are involved. First is planning and preparation of the program. Second is writing of the program. And the third and last one is evaluation of the program. In planning, task analysis is required where topics need to be selected according to the target learners. Specific objectives need to be prepared along with the criterion questions and arrangement of frame in logical sequence. At the second stage, the style of writing the program needs to be selected along with the frames which include introductory, teaching, practice and testing frames. Prompts must be added to help learners in selection of correct answers. In order to remove the ambiguity and ensure technical accuracy, editing of the program needs to be done properly. In the last stage, evaluation is carried out to assess the efficiency and effectiveness of the program through individual, small group and field testing. Without any doubt, PI helps in keeping students active and alert. The instruction is tailored to cater the diverse needs of individual students. It makes learning interesting. It gives opportunity for self-paced learning. It is useful in memorization of concepts and procedures and mastery of facts, concept formation and learning of principles. The second technique is personalized system of instruction that can be called as PSI. It emphasizes on learner-centered instruction. It is named as Keller Plan after the name of Professor Fred S. Keller who developed it with other associates in 1960s. In this technique, the individual to receive instruction is a key figure. The whole instruction is planned keeping learners in mind. Keller identified five main features of PSI which are First, it is a mastery-oriented learning technique which ensures that students don't progress in course until the clear understanding of each unit is demonstrated through quiz forms. Second, it is self-paced technique which allows students to regulate their progress through course material. Students are given time to attain the required level of understanding according to their own speed. Third, it uses lectures to stimulate and motivate students through elaboration of difficult concepts. These lectures can provide opportunity to explore topics that are not included in the unit material. Fourth point is, it uses printed or written materials in the form of text or unit study guides for content presentation and to communicate information. Fifth, it uses proctors to evaluate attainment of objectives. They reinforce students' behavior, evaluate their performance, allow verbalization of materials and correct students' errors. On the basis of these features, it is quite clear that it helps in providing better learning experiences and facilitating better performance, increasing retention and promoting transfer of learning. Here, learners are able to acquire real knowledge with deep understanding and better insight. It does not promote rote memorization because learners try to get meaningful experience through independent efforts. It can be effectively applied to develop efficient learning strategies and to develop desirable attitude. Now, the another technique is computer-assisted instruction, CAI. 
I. It is an excellent resource for students learning as per their needs and potentials. It is considered as an innovation in educational technology. It is an extension of PI and PSI. CAI has made computers the vehicle which permits educators to provide the type and amount of instruction that best fits the learner's needs and abilities at a given time. Computer is programmed with the lessons which provides instruction to the students. It uses question answer techniques and provides feedback to the students on the basis of their performance. In the words of Engel, CAI may be thought of as any means by which educational processes are furthered by the use of computers. Here, computers work as teachers. Through it, interaction between student and computer is possible. It helps in generating students' interest better than other conventional techniques such as lecture. It uses different modes of instruction such as drill and practice, tutorial, simulation and gaming, discovery, dialogue or inquiry modes. Through these modes, CAI tries to process the performance data of students in order to provide more personalized learning experiences for better output. In conclusion, it is said that personalized instruction is an educational approach that supports individualization of instruction that helps in catering the needs and potentials of learners for whom it is designed. It is planned to suit the learners needs, readiness and their characteristics. Here programmed instruction is an auto-instructional and self-learning technique which helps in presenting the material into small segments in order to make students master the content. Personalized system of instruction emphasizes on learner-centered instruction which helps in raising the performance level of learners and improve their retention. Computer-assisted instruction makes use of computers to provide instruction according to learners' needs and abilities. These techniques are designed to provide personalized instruction to make learning meaningful and productive for individual learners. Thank you for listening.